Warning, there may be yelling in this video, but probably won't be. Also, there may be cursing and inappropriate talk in the video I'm reacting to, so beware. Yo, Callum's Corner uploaded a new video. Oh my gosh, Callum Adams. Callum Adams. You, you come in with the new Callum's Corner uploads. You know, makes my life happier. Yo, there you are. There you are. Today, we're going to be reacting to 268 pounds and 80 cents a night. I stayed at London's most overpriced airbnb or is it quid i don't know i hear him say pounds and i hear him say quid i hear him say quid more so i think it's actually quid all right here we go callum adams all right hey yo and welcome to callum's Ooh, corner you look welcome excited. to a very special video Whoa. today i am i'm gonna show you exactly what you get for um 268 pounds and 80 pence oh. uh, for a night oh, in pounds. central London. Right. Um, and basically, I'm off up to London today, and it's all been a little bit last minute. And last night, uh, I was looking for a place to stay on a kind all of right. popular booking website. All right. Now, I always have a little look because a while back I made a video where I found a hotel room for seven quid. Oh. Um, and it really piqued my interest. And I what is it, quid there. or pounds? Maybe it's quid where he bought the other an interesting piece video. Um, I, I was looking for that kind of thing, but uh, this is basically the total opposite because I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. This place for £268.80 is basically a bed sit from what I can see. Like, how are you charging the best part of 300 quid for that? Like, I know London is expensive. Everywhere I was looking at was well over 100 quid, but. For this price, you could get like a luxury hotel, I had a look. Um, and, well, tempting as that was to go for the luxury hotel option, I decided to do this uh, and make the video, do a thorough investigation. So, um, yeah, just waiting for my taxi now, uh, but I'm going to be off up London and I'm going to show you exactly what you get for this extortionate price. So maybe the pictures don't do it justice, you know. Maybe it's, I mean, for that price, it's got to have some luxury touches, isn't it? You know, uh, like... I don't know, like luxury kind of spa and shower gels and stuff and like a little food hamper maybe at that price. I don't know. I'm very interested to find out. So, yeah, I'm off, off to London. All right. Um, and I'll show you the place once we get there. All right. Right. I'm here. And it's fair to say I'm not impressed. But fair disclosure, I'm also not in the best mood right now. Yep, yep. This is exactly the type of situation that happened last time. It's not the exact, exact same, but, like, kind of, like, similar, like, you know, like... Okay, let me explain. So, last vlog that Callum's Corner did, he was being a Mormon, all right? And during that vlog, a, he, he mentioned in the video that a bad thing happened to him during that video, during recording that video. And we saw the video where the bad thing happened to him previously prior you know prior to the video so the same thing happened with this remember that one video of where um he was talking about the people and he said oh i got them to the airbnb like remember when he was talking about the guy who was like chase it chase it grind grind chase it do it grind yeah and that video is what he's talking about what he talked about in that video is what he's talking about in this vlog i really like those connections although it is quite unfortunate that bad stuff happens to Callum this wasn't at least this wasn't as near as bad as the situation you had to deal with when you were being a Mormon oh, uh, uh, traveling here public transport uh, right. I just basically lost my faith in humanity oh. um, so I'm not going to judge too harshly yet but it's yeah it's small and it has failed one of my biggest tests whenever I go to an Airbnb um, I took the time to pick up a pint of milk oh. uh, before coming and checking in. All right. Now, um, I do that so I can have a proper cup of tea All and right. get to a place. Some places uh, just leave you little UHT things, which for me, it's not proper tea then. Um, it's kind of, that is my litmus test, whether they provide you proper milk or uh, just a little UHT things. All right. Anyway, I have got here with my milk just in case. There's no tea bags. This is unprecedented. For £268 
uh, an 80 pence a night. Um, I- it is just tea, all right? But I do understand what you're saying. Like, you're paying a ton of money, at least, you know, for them, they should at least give you tea. I, at the very least, expect a few tea bags. Probably one of those little plastic covered, like, little old tea cookies or something. You know, I expect... I expect to be able to have a cup of tea. Maybe that's an unrealistic expectation and I should carry emergency tea bags and a little kind of pouch of sugar uh, just in case for these situations. You know, maybe it's a failure a little bit on my part, but yeah, that does not bode well and that does not put me in a good mood. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to order a Domino's because I'm not myself when I'm hungry. I haven't been able to have a cup of tea. Um, and I need to get some food inside me before I give you the grand tour, which will not take long. Um, yeah, I'm ordering right. Domino's. Um, yeah, I'm ordering Domino's. I've looped it up. I haven't had one for ages. Now I live on the Isle of Wight. Um, you don't need to know the village. You know, most people do, apparently. Uh, I can't get a Domino's. Um, so I'm going for that. Plus, I've priced out the order, and it costs right. £23.98. All right. I was a bit tempted to have an Indian curry. Oh, okay. um, but that was right. over eight pounds more expensive. All right. I also can't get caught in my village. It's a nightmare. All right. Um, anyway, yeah, I've ordered the Domino's. Got a, I'll show you my order when it comes. I'll do a little unboxing. Um, yeah, and then we will do the tour of the place because, yeah, I've had the journey kind down. Of, I actually had a... Kind of like kind Kingy of, and Moore. I'd say a rant, but it wasn't. It was a, a plea to humanity one-off video that I recorded. Uh, try and get that off my chest, but Ian Moore. the lackety, um, I think it wouldn't be fair to review. Yeah, don't things. don't watch Ian Moore's content. He talk, he talks inappropriately and curses. Yep. I've had something to eat and drink at least, but yeah, that is not a strong start. Finally, my Domino's has arrived. Yeah, it's it's the same Airbnb, just as I thought, because of that background. Remember that, guys? Remember that? Show ya. Just went for the medium, just All went right. for the medium. I'm trying to be less of a fat bugger. Um, although I don't rule out the possibility of eating um, a little bit later again. Uh, also got some wings, spicy ones, of course, um, and extra, extra dips. I got this, which it does somewhat go against my principles because it's vegan. Um, but given that I'm going to be dipping in the vegan sauce copious i was about to say callum is not vegan i can tell you that for sure but then when i realized oh it's for vegans well is he really that against being vegan that he'll point out that something that's like good for vegans like that vegans eat is against his principle like principles like really you're that against being vegan like my view on being vegan is i'm not a vegan myself all you meet and I just won't give a crap, all right? I just won't give a crap. I don't give a crap about what people think about me eating meat. I mean, I'm sorry to them, but I'm eating meat, all right? Um, I don't give a crap if people are being vegan. They could do whatever the heck they want, but this guy seems to be a little more for eating meat and more against being vegan, all right? Amounts of very fatty cheese, dairy products, and... Um pepperoni i All feel right. like it kind of offsets the effect of it and i was quite interested to see what like the garlic and herb dip is opposed to this garlic and herb dip you know just a bit of comparison um anyway i'm talking way too much little instruction about how to eat dominoes is it tastes best when it's hot which is why i've already had a bite um and you're best off eating as much as you can while it's like almost unbearably hot so the rest of it will be more enjoyable. So I'm going to bugger off. I will let you know about the vegan dip. Um, but after I've eaten. Right. I just got a bit of a scare. So I came what? into the bathroom to grab some TP toilet paper to... Um, <laughs> TP. <laughs> this is incredibly greasy. I am incredibly... I, I sometimes act incredibly immature. That's probably why I'm still single to this day. Wings and stuff. Anyway. <laughs> He's he's into his <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The moments like these determine if I'm gonna get a GF or not, and clearly you could tell I'm I'm the type to be single. <laughs> like my hands, Domino's is incredibly greasy, and the wings and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> came in, and that is what I was greeted with. 
that much toilet paper. Initially, I oh, was incredibly worried. There's some up there. For reason, I'm slightly reassured by What on earth are you talking about? There's some up there. What's wrong with that? Um, but I thought that of this loose, poor quality toilet paper, which really does just disappear when you unroll it a tiny bit. Um, I was worried that wiping my hands and tomorrow morning, uh, there might not be enough, you know, and given my recent problems with the old anus, I like to be quite relaxed and expansive with my pooping. I don't want to be restricted in toilet paper, that's for sure. <laughs> Sorry, it's just kind of funny. No, a situation like this is serious, but it is slightly funny. Um, I'm really sure now I know there's three there, you know, fair, fair dues, fair income. What? You see it all. That is a plus point. That there's what on dominoes. earth are you talking so, about? This one in, what? Have it with my dominoes with, without worries for tomorrow morning, which is a plus. First kind of plus really that we've had so far. Right, I've finished eating. At least all right. one of my desires has been sated. So this right. is probably as good a time as any to do the actual tour of the place. All right. Um, let me turn you around, camera wise, so you can see exactly what I'm seeing. I will narrate the tour for you. Right, this Ooh. is the front door. Um, decent enough lock, although security wise, I do like an extra thing when I'm in all London, right. but I'm not going to mark them down too heavily for that. All right. Um, right, straight through the front door is, well, when we turn right round, there is the apartment. Um, but to here on my left is the bathroom. Now, um, I already kind of showed it to you briefly. Yeah, yeah, I was about, about to say that. I was just about to say that. Thing. Um, you took that, the words right out of my mouth. Now, let me, I can, uh, I'm touching that. You see me touching that, I'll keep touching. Uh, that's me touching the other one. And I can um, I can very obviously touch it width-wise. Yeah, it's a small space, it's a small space. Um, shower is broken like that, so it won't stand up. Um, I don't know about power-wise. Uh, let's do a little test, I should be thought. Yeah, I mean, that's decent-ish power, and it does feel warm to give it its credit. Although it is going to be quite a grim affair tomorrow morning, isn't it? Holding the shower above my own head, washing with one hand. What? Anyway, <laughs> to be fair... Callum, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm glad I found this guy. I I am glad how did so I'll tell you how I found this guy briefly here. How I found this guy is I watched a Tom Yinich stream, alright? Because um he actually did a video on Tom Yinich, and then how did I find Tom Yinich? I forget I I have to chase back. How did I how exactly did I find Tom Yinich? Did I find Technoblade before Tom Yinich? I I know I found Dream before Technoblade and Tom Yinich. And then I found um, Technoblade, and then I found Tommy in it. Or maybe no, Dream is the cause of me finding Tommy in it. But never mind Technoblade. Um, I found Dream because Dream was popular, and then the Dream SMP, and then I found Tommy in it from the Dream SMP, and then I found Callum. So th thanks to Dream, I guess you could say, I know about this absolutely underrated legendary channel. There again, there is an array of products left there. All um, right. Alberto Balm, Alberto right. Balm and Radox. So should I wish All to right. wash my scalp and body, uh, I will be able to. I mean, I've got my own toiletries, but there you go. Um, will be using my own as well. It's got right, funny, so it? out of the bathroom, just to show I'm not making it look smaller than it is, it's one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking big steps. <laughs> Take smaller steps. Don't go one. Wait, don't go one, two, three. <laughs> That's literally what he's like. One, two, three. And he takes these huge, ginormous steps. <laughs> <laughs> Making it look smaller than it is. It's one, two, three strides to the bed. Oh, strides. Um, okay. 
to the left we have a lovely little kitchenette milk that I haven't used oh, yet because there's no tea bags. Use yet because there's no tea bags. And um, it's right. it's not the most well equipped kitchen. It does have a microwave. All right. Two forks, two knives, two spoons, two kind of cotty knives. I think that does on two purpose. Two pans, frying and sauce variety, uh, and two bowls. There is another mug that I use for my Fanta. Probably shouldn't use that, but it's is that a latte glass. I always think of it as one, so I just use the mug because uh, I think it probably fit more in there. Could have done with a normal glass, really. Two blanks. Yeah, I think this is meant for a couple. Mm. Uh, oh my got... gosh, this apartment is literally flexing in my face that I'm single. A sink and this Airbnb. There's a fridge down there, an oven, two little hot blanks, toaster, kettle. I mean, I don't know why I'm narrating it quite that carefully. It's a fairly poorly equipped uh, kitchen. Uh, we've got a slightly wonky telly. Um, some shelves. Uh, excuse the dominoes. It does give it a kind of cracky shake look, doesn't it? Uh, and there is the bed. Uh, in fairness, I have sat there recording earlier, so the towel has been messed up. Um, so it might have looked slightly smarter before uh, kind of my anus was there. Oh, it's smarter? It's really smarter. What? But there's another story for you. Anyway. What? How could, what would, what know, was that? Shall we say from here? One, two, three, <laughs> and we reached the garden, which actually, for central London. Wow, that's really nice. Wow. Nice courtyard garden. Wow. Enjoy spending time out here. That's how Airbnbs um, usually have this gardens on, like leads this. leads me on to my main criticism. That is my old phone, my second phone. I run a Vodafone SIM card out of it. All right. Uh, this is my main phone I'm recording on at the moment, which is on the 3 network. Now, that's important because I need to talk about the quality of the internet. It is oh, important. yeah, yeah. I Remember this, guys? Remember this. If you guys watched the last Callum's Corner reaction video, you'll remember this. Beyond arse. It is ridiculous. <laughs> On the Wi-Fi that it's advertised as having, I've got an upload download speed of 0.33, and an upload speed won't even register. It just keeps failing the bloody test. That's not Wi-Fi. It's impossible to even watch anything. <laughs> uh, on my three network, it's barely bloody better. I can just about watch something when I'm outside. Um, and my Vodafone, it, nothing at all. Nothing at all. I have that SIM card. I bring it with me just for these emergencies so I can set up like a hotspot. Um, that, I feel like it should be like advertised or specified that that is not really internet that's available here. Not on the <laughs> Wi-Fi network and not on two major networks. I mean, like some kind of dead zone. It's, yeah, it's awful. I'm going to be left a lot with my own thoughts tonight. It's bleak, bleak prospect. Yeah, for... 268 quid and 80 pence. It's it's not an awful lot, is it? Um, mattress wise, it's yeah, it's kind of what you'd expect. It's not the greatest. It is not the greatest. Anyway, I feel like I'm being harsh and moaning quite a lot. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Obviously, I'll update you as the evening goes on, um, how I sleep and stuff. Oh, um, let me just show you the security at the back here. Just that, well, the, not an issue, but because it's kind of a walled off garden. But again, when I'm in central London, I do enjoy more than just one of those. You know what I mean? Yeah, well... Hopefully, it won't be an issue and I won't get robbed. But if it does happen, that does happen, um, I'll let you know. I'm sleeping my phone under my pillow, maybe. Yeah, I'll update you as the night goes on and see how I sleep. But it's not great so far, is it? It's not great at all. Right, a couple of updates for you. Uh, <laughs> you number shook. one, I have noticed it is, it's very quiet, actually, which is something in the flat's favour. It's nice to be able to... Uh, to give it a plus point at least, you know, I don't want to come off as biased, but um, there's not been a many kind of good points to it. But yeah, that is one. It's very quiet considering I'm in central London. Um, and even from the neighbours, I'm not hearing like loud noises, music and uh, TV and stuff. 
Um, might be because I haven't got anybody into that, to be fair. But yeah, it is quite quiet. Uh, update number two. I forgot to update you on the vegan domino sauce situation. Yeah, Actually, yeah. it wasn't too bad. Um, I don't prefer it to the green one. Uh, it's slightly blander. doesn't have quite the tang that the green one has. But it's an alternative for like every kind of third, fourth bite or something. It was, it was a decent accompaniment. Um, but definitely no kind of endorsement of veganism. Um, yeah, that's just stupid. Don't deny yourself the goodness. Anyway, yeah, those are my updates for now, um, and I will keep you posted. Right, I've realised that I haven't actually showed you um, the outside from the front of the flat. That kind of journey in through the hallway and stuff. Oh, and well, let's see it hundred percent thorough. I'd like to do that just for. Show it. Show so it. We're going to turn the camera around again. Show it now. I'm, I'm going to take you out and show you what it's like to come in. Show just us. So you, you want to see. The information Your and fans are waiting. Time, so, to speak. so this is my front door. Oh, I love yeah. that. I love that scene. That change of scene. So this is my Oh, my door. gosh. That's so amazing, Callum. You know, at your fingertips, so to speak. So this is my front door. All right. Um, you've seen the lock already. That's the carpet out. Another flat Airbnb there. Oh, I wonder where that's right. a No, that's not the Wi-Fi I had access to. <laughs> oh, I wonder where that's a router. No, that's not the Wi-Fi I had access to. What? Another flat, possibly Airbnb. Um, and... You're so obsessed with Wi-Fi right now. This door. Oh, oh it's one bike and a wheel. Uh, ski bag. And then there's the front door. Mm, you see that? That's very rickety. I'll take you on the steps. I'll take you on. All right. There you go. Full disclosure. There we go. Okay, after having realised quite how rickety that other lock is, mm, that's, I am wishing that was a bit more secure, to be honest with you. Good morning to you. It is... Oh yeah, his voice is like really deep. Or like different when he... If you if you hear his voice right when he wakes up. Eight like you are right now. Eight in the morning and I've not long woken up from a, a pretty turgid night's sleep. Um... The quietness, it didn't last as it got later. Uh, there were a lot of people coming and going from those flats in the front there. Um, and also out in a little courtyard garden. Um, I tell, it sounded like it was one garden over, but it must have been over on the road or something. But there was yeah. like a gang, it sounded like. Like about 20 lads like... They were talking, um, talking really passionately, like arguing with each other, a lot of calling each other brov and stuff like that. Uh, at one point, it did sound like they were kind of talking for their lives almost. Uh, it what? got so heated, and then there were loads of bottles being smashed and stuff. Um, luckily, that only lasted about half an hour or so, but it was a little bit unsettling, although quite interesting to listen to. Um, I would have liked to have filmed a bit of it, but my... Stupid phone's going wrong at the moment. He wouldn't charge up last night. He keeps saying there's a moisture in the port. There's not. Um, it's luckily the little drip symbol's gone now, so I'm able to charge again. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, in terms of the bed, yeah, definitely not the most comfortable thing. I don't know whether you can see, but the headboard's slightly wonky as well. I'll get a proper shot of that later to bring it to you, but. Yeah, not the most comfortable mattress, not the most comfortable feeling uh, right. being next to an almost unlocked door there. But I've made it through and I'm I'm not ready to check out yet, but um, I'm ready to order a McDonald's breakfast. At All right. Sink my hunger. Have a good breakfast. Right, that's what I'm going to do. Get myself a Macca's breakfast. All get right. Get some sauce within yeah. me. 
Uh, yeah. Then I guess Have I'll a good breakfast. In the uh, handheld shower uh, and give you my final thoughts before I check out. But yeah, in terms of actual sleeping, it's a three out of ten, maybe. Which it's not the greatest, is it? When you consider it's two hundred and sixty-eight pounds and eighty pence. Right, anyway, enough talking, I'm getting McDonald's. Right, McDonald's has been ordered, but that's not what I need to talk to you about. I have another issue that I need to, you know, full disclosure, talk about. So, right. I've just performed a bio-evacuation, and... Um, Is, does, doesn't that mean, like, he had a... Does that mean, like... I, 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 okay, I forget what that means. I heard about it before. Does that mean that you... That you, that you took a massive. Does that mean that you took a massive, Callum? Callum, don't tell me that you mean that you took a massive, huh? Does that mean you took a massive? Yeah, slight issue. Uh, actually, I'll sit back down and sit on it just to display the issue. Uh, this is the issue for me. Uh, legs. Oh. Too big to fit in the doorway, so I'm kind of having to keep the door open, basically, um, and stick him out, which, you know, to achieve optimum, that's not optimal comfort, is it? You want enough room in front of you without this bloody wall, and me, definitely, I'd like that door shut, you know, it's only a couple of inches to a, the front door, and basically made of paper, so in terms of privacy, comfort it's it was an entirely unsatisfying bio evacuation again oh it just means a normal 10 maybe normal not good. okay not good at all all right good news bad news situation um good news my mcdonald's has arrived um bad news the driver didn't read my little delivery note but he hasn't included my requested condiments so there's no sugar for my coffee uh, and no sachet of salt because oh. um, I do like a little sprinkle of salt on my hash brown. So everything's going to be. Wait, 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 wait. What did you I say? I do like a little sprinkle of salt on my hash brown. So everything. Soap? Um, I do like a little sprinkle of salt on my hash brown. Why would you put soap on your hash brown? What on earth is this man talking about? What? So. Everything's going to be slightly blander and slightly less pleasurable than it could be in an ideal world, which maybe so is pretty much something else. in keeping with my stay here, isn't it? When yeah, he says I, so. I'm going to get this down, mate, and then I think I'm going to get moving. Um, All right. Normally, I will be looking to extract maximum value from an Airbnb, especially when I've paid this much. Um, you know, 11 o'clock is normal. I haven't got 11 fingers. I don't know why I'm trying to hold them up. 11 o'clock, though, is normally <laughs> checkout time. Put them up. 11 o'clock, though, is normally checkout time. Um, and I'd normally look to extract full value. I wouldn't check out a minute before that. Um, but today, I don't really see the point of hanging around. I'm going to eat my Maccas and I'm going to get moving, I think. Right, I finished my McDonald's and I've just had a shower. Um, feeling slightly better because of it, but it was not the best experience. Uh, as expected, it was a real struggle. You know what? I actually take back what I said earlier. Yeah, it... I actually did, yeah. Like I said earlier, I did like hold like the um, like I did have to hold like a, a thing, like the the thing that spits out the water when you shower. And I took a shower with having to hold it the entire time, and I remembered how uncomfortable it was to shower. So, yeah, I take back what I said. A small area, well, it's a very small space, isn't it? Um, and also, as I say, the um. Just get evidence that the uh, the whole different the shower's broken, so it was very much um, just me holding it, spraying water at myself, um, and just using one hand to wash myself, which isn't ideal, is it? Um, now I'm no pampered princess when it comes to bathrooms. I grew up, you know, as a kid in the eighties. We didn't even have a shower till I was like nine years old. Um, I really, I remember it clearly. You know, when we first got one installed, it was around Easter time, and one of my aunties gave me a. A bottle of shower gel instead of an Easter egg that year, and you think you think I'd be disappointed as a kid not to get more chocolate. But I remember being like over the moon with it. I was excited to use it because I've just been robbing bars of soap on myself at that age. So it's no like pampered upbringing that I've had. I'm from the school of hard knocks, you know. But I don't want to have to hold the shower, especially if I spent you know two hundred and sixty-eight pounds and eighty p for All one right. night here. But at least I expect. 
yeah, I'd give the um, the whole bath and showering experience, not even three actually, two out of ten. All right, I'm just noticing a few extra things as I'm getting ready to check out. Um, the painting is something that really um, jumps out at me. It's obviously had a, a quick fresh coat of um, Brilliant White Emotion, uh, which you know, was look fairly fresh. Um, but they've just emotioned onto the door as well. There's a fly stuck to it as well. You can see the kind of mottled effect. I mean, I did a bit of work with a, a painter and decorator years ago, and he was one of the laziest blokes going. His nickname was, you know, that'll do. That's what we called him. But even he was just like, you know, one coat, that'll do. Then you do the, the glossing and stuff. You don't just slap a bit of emotion on it. It's not great, is it? All right. A few more dead flies stuck around. I mean, all of the walls are kind of like that, not kind of finished that nicely. I mean, it's not a massive deal, but I guess at the price I'm paying, I do expect the walls to be... Oh, come on. You know, just finished. Come on, Callum. That's a good way of describing it. Uh, mm. Whatever. Right, I am. I'm going to check The classic out, background. I think, it is over an hour before I need to, which is it's kind of indicative, I think, of my overall time here. It's like the third time um, he's recorded with that I'm background. Deeply disappointing, given the money that I paid for it. Um, kind of quite a few big points that aren't good enough, I'd say, for 268 quid and 80 pence. Um, not a working shower, no working internet, um, insufficient locks on doors, security really not the one for central London. Um, I guess I'm more nitpicking here, but um, crappy mattress, um, unfinished walls, um, oh, lack of just basics, you know, tea bags, just chuck some tea bags in, um, and some proper glasses and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's finished. Oh, come on. Not, it you feels don't like it's I don't kind of a token gesture. And for the price I paid, I kind of feel like I expect more than a token gesture. Um, yeah, disappointing. Right, I'm, I'm off. I'm going to check out. I'm going to meet some mates who I went to uni with up in London. Oh. Um, and then I'm going to head down to Bristol. Where I'm oh. I'm going to in a different kind of Airbnb. Bristol! Uh, it's a lot more than £100 a night less than this place. Uh, and hopefully it looks like it's going to be interesting. Um, could even do a review, actually. Let me know if you want it. Yes, uh, yes, yes. I will, I'll put so that down in the comments. Massive. Yes, yes, if yes. You this far. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please do leave a like. If you didn't like it, please do leave a dislike. I left the like. Always, I always like your videos, your Callum. Um, yeah, massive thank you. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. All right, all right. Callum, that was a great video. I always get excited every single time you do a new video. I really love all the work and the effort you put into your videos. It makes me happy. You were doing a lot for your fans, and I appreciate you. Anyways, go subscribe to Callum's Corner. I've never said that before for some reason. Go subscribe to him, all right? Inappropriate talking in cursing, but still, go subscribe. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, peace out.